Hi everyone, it's Mike and today we are inside. Now I've seen um, quite a few videos on this, so I'm not the only one on YouTube who does this but I wanted to give it a try. So today I thought we would make some fire straws. So the things you need to make fire straws are some straws, preferably uh, a larger um, diameter type straw. And just so you can fit a bit more in. So get a few of those. Need a lighter, any lighter will do. Some scissors, a few bits of cotton wool balls or cotton wool pads, whatever you had around. I have cotton wool pads, so that'll have to do. And some pliers, a nail or something um, that's long and will you know go down the end of there like that and finally some petroleum jelly or Vaseline so what I'll do is just give you a bit of a zoomed up view that's about right so our first step is to select how long we want the fire straw so I want mine about that long. There we go. So and now I've got a template for how long and that one fires off, but oh well. So want them about this long guys. So the first thing we need to do is take our pliers and pinch the end and leave a little bit showing. Hopefully you can see that. So now what we need to do is take our lighter and burn the end. And make sure that Sealed. Yep, that's totally sealed. So we've now sealed the end. It's the first step. Now we need to take our cotton pads, and that's all I had to spare, so these will have to do. Um, but I can just fluff these up really. So now what we need to do is take our cotton pad and give it a nice rubbing of petroleum jelly and then mix everything in. This stage can get a bit messy, but it's well worth it. So guys, once these are all nicely mixed in, what we want to do is roll the cotton ball So that we can start to push it down our straw. You're best going in a like a twisting motion with it to push it down. where the nail comes in handy because if you can see if I hold that up against the light it isn't actually full so what you want to do is take the nail and compact it down as much as you can obviously trying to be careful that you don't split the end open um, so if you can see in the light only half of it's full so we need another cotton pad so do another one again just fluff it up a little bit shove it in the vaseline mix it up
basically gets a bit sticky guys but no matter. guys that's how it is but if you turn it around it's obviously a lot easier to push stuff down you know you need to to take next end like that clamp it with your pliers and seal it down Straw, fully filled with petroleum and um, jelly cotton balls, totally sealed, so it's totally waterproof now, and a very very small package. Now all you do once you um, when you want to light these is you just cut them open and light the tinder inside. And um, the reason I wanted to make these was because. I want to do some modifications to some things like my, uh, my Mora knives and stuff like that and just bung these in little kits um, to be able to start fire any time so what I'll do is I'll keep making um, a batch of these basically and then we will go outside and test them so stay tuned So guys, we've just come out and I have a batch of our fire straws that we made so. Big one contains 
two cotton balls and the little ones both contain one each so I'm going to use the smallest one just to see how that fares so what I'll do is zoom in for you Uh, it's better, isn't it? So we're zoomed in to about here. So I've got my Mora um, bushcraft and survival knife here. So what I need to do is just get this open. Hopefully you can see that. And then we need to pull some of our cotton out. And then we'll see that. Like this. Now you can burn the straw as well with it. But I don't like burning the straw because it's plastic and gives off a bit of a bad fume. So that can just go in my pocket for now want to test how well this works. So fluff the cotton ball up. We'll take the striker, fire steel and a knife. And just there we go. Flip. So we'll just see how long that burns for. Position the camera. There we go. So guys, this seems to have a really good burn time on it. I think that's because you can get a lot of petroleum jelly onto the cotton ball. Um, and obviously it, st it stays on there, you can get a lot on. And then when you roll it in, it's all compacted. So you can keep compacting it, press it in and so on. And it's really, really good. It's burning for a long, long while. So I won't bore you with just watching it burn. And back on to me. So guys, this has been my tutorial on how to make fire straws and obviously me testing the fire straw. I think this is a really good idea for um, compact fire lighting on the cheap. You know, you can buy probably pack of straws for a quid and um, you put your petroleum jelly probably like what maybe a pound or something like that and same for your cotton balls for about a hundred so you can probably make a hundred fire lighters for maybe about three pounds something like that so it's a really really good idea you can make them in a variety of sizes and obviously they're really really compact and will fit in the like ranger bands and stuff like that around you know your moral knife if you're on on a budget or whatever knife you've got so thanks for watching guys please remember to comment like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video